Komal, uh, this is further to the discussion we had over phone a short while ago. Here you are saying the work in progress. Actually, the technical work has been completed. We need to do the stickering and different fascia. Now, presently you are seeing the main hardware module where there is a the local display is available and the power supply and the process control board and the transformers, toroidal transformers, giving power to the circuit. And then to simulate uh, the DC input, we have a small power supply, which is not a part of the instrument, but it is a, uh, it's an instrument which gives the signal source for the control input. Okay, and then we have the digital storage oscilloscope to see the waveform. And the multimeter, the first one which you see now, is for observing the output voltage in AC. And this one which you see now, the Okogova instrument, is for seeing the output load current. Okay, and this is the chasis which is to be fitted in the instrument. Now let us see, let us now switch it on. You see the welcome message, followed by the control screen, where we have the first line showing the DC control input. Then we have the output voltage and the frequency. Now everything is showing zero because the signal is zero. Now let us slowly vary the signal with this potentiometer which you see now. As the potentiometer is turned, the DC input slowly increases. As you can see the increase now. Okay, now it is around 0 0.7, 0 0.8, this goes on. Okay, as, you, as, as it increases, <coughs> You can see the DSO, the waveform amplitude is increasing. The waveform amplitude is increasing with respect to the DC input and uh, the output voltage also is increasing. So what you see here is that as per the 0 to 10 volt DC signal, the output voltage and frequency increases and the load current also increases. The load current also is increasing and the laser load we have two uh, uh, wire wound resistors as you see they see here connected in series okay the output voltage is proportional to the input DC voltage and the frequency also is proportional to the DC input voltage further uh, details can be discussed while you are here okay thank you